Hello and welcome to another Battle Games in Middle Earth painting tutorial. This is one that's been sat on the editing software for quite some time, so it's really good to finally finish up and get it published. Um, here I'm tackling one of the newest heroes for the Middle Earth range, the Forge World model of Ingold, the Gondor hero. I painted this guy in the same scheme I did for the very first video on this channel, which is of a significantly lower quality to the rest, but I thought I'd get it out there just to show you how I still do my Minas Tirith models in a bit more of an easy to watch and a more enjoyable way. I'll start with the obvious joke, it's not in gold. I begin with a heavy dry brush of bolt gun metal or lead belcher. As with most models, I begin with the biggest area of dry brushing, if there is one, and then I work it up from there, so there's no problem if you get some of the bulk and metal on the cloak. Onto that lovely cloak then. I paint it regal blue, or cantor blue. Worth noting here just how awesome this model is. A lot of the new forgeable stuff can be really expensive, especially if you're abroad, but I won't go into that, but I genuinely think the detailing is extraordinary, so well worth the premium on it. Now onto the detailing already. Using scorched brown, I paint the back of the shield and the belt straps. Although I will end up going back to the metal again, I find being extra careful here is basically essential. So here in real time, I really take my time on the straps. Usually my videos are in 10 times or eight times faster than the, uh, the time it took me to actually do them. So take a look here at how slowly I'm actually painting this strap. Don't forget any bits on the shield that are poking out from behind his back, and of course, don't forget the bootstraps, bootstraps either. Now, with Talon Flesh, I paint in gold skin, nice and slowly there. If you're neat, it'll save a lot of time retouching, and of course, you lose detail every time you retouch any paintwork. So there's me doing exactly what I've advised you not to. I've retouched the helmet with bolt gun metal because, let's be honest, everyone's a bit messy occasionally. But it's worth noting that I take care to do the inside of the helmet. I often notice beginners miss that bit of a helmet out, but it's crucial to add the definition to the helmet in hard to reach places. It just kind of defines the difference between the skin and the helmet so much better and really finishes the model off even before it's finished. Now I go back to some more blue. Earlier I put a full layer of regal blue on the cloak and now I go back to touch up the raised edges on the main cloak and then regal blue again on all the other bits of his skirt and the trim as well. Now onto that gorgeous shield of his. I use some black to restore the background of the shield after the dry brush earlier. Now I watered it down plenty, not so that it's the level of a wash, but enough that if it touches the detailing, then it runs off just a little bit so that it isn't ruining all that nice dry brush work you've done. Now, talking of other washes, I slap a little Reichland flesh shade on the face and wash the whole of the metal with Nuln Oil Gloss. I definitely go for the gloss version to retain that nice shine. Then a final wash before a break for drying time is Azurman Blue on all of the blue material. Be ultra careful with the blue. Two things to avoid. A, getting any on the metal at all, and B, allowing any of the undried washes to mix. I've put them all on kind of at once. Uh, you could obviously wait for each to dry, but just make sure you don't mix them up if you haven't let them all dry fully. You'll get the shine on the blue if there's gloss in it, or blue on the metal, and it, it just, just gets to be a bit of a mess. So anyway, I've got all my three washes there, so I let it dry for a good period of time, somewhere warm and breezy. Hmm. Well, that certainly did the job. <laughs> anyway, now I start highlighting the metal with chain mail. It's not an extreme highlight, but I do try to catch the edge of every piece of armor in a kind of dry brush come highlight, and I highlight the mail itself, which is kept strictly to the center of the highest fold of the chain mail itself. I also chose to pick out the details on the shield with chain mail too, just to brighten them and help increase the contrast between the black shield and the embossed details, but we will be returning to those details later. Now Regal Blue returns once more to restore the base colour after the blue wash earlier. It's not a hugely detailed highlight, in fact it's a bit of a messy one, but it's okay because I'm going to highlight it properly in a sec.
Then, with Fenris Grey, I put on those edge highlights on the cloak. It's worth making sure they're not too sharp, so water down your paints a little bit. It's a difficult thing to master, and to be honest, I don't think I do master it, but I'll get there eventually, just like you. There, so a little bit of a shot of progress so far. Next step, I start working on the trimmings of the uniform with Iandan Dark Sun. Some people have been painting this in gold, but I wanted to match my Citadel Guard, so I'm going with a yellow. Plus, I can't imagine even heroes having a gold trim like this on their uniform. That's reserved for royalty, I figure. Then, with a careful wash of Nuln Oil, I shade the recesses which form the cross-stitch pattern, not the gloss version, just the normal version there. Finally, I get to make the pun I've been waiting for the whole video. Definitely haven't already made it twice. I paint the pommel of the sword in Retributor armour. Then I detail the edges of the wings of the helmet in the same colour. And finally, I detail the shield with that very same paint. And then the buckle of the belt as well. Damn, missed the chance for the pun. Oh well, onto the gloves, which I give a quick coat of charred and granite with, careful of keeping it away from the metal near the shields. Back onto that belt now. With a little bit of Doomble Brown, I carefully highlight it in the middles of the straps, leaving the edges darker. Just because I find my belts often have a light strip or fold in the middle, and sometimes it's just nice to do something a little bit different. Don't forget those leg straps either. Now with a bit of bestial brown, I paint Ingold's hair. I have no idea if that's canonical, but I really don't think blonde or black would work well with the colours, especially with the yellow trimming. Uh, no blonde and black is just too dark, so uh, there you go. From that, I went straight into wet highlight of vermin brown. I do this to avoid washing it with anything because it helps blend the layers if the first coat is still wet. Just a nice quick highlight there. Then back to the little chap's face to highlight it. Ultra careful here, I use a fine, 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 fine detail brush. Now coming to a close, I used a little bit of sunburst yellow to highlight the decorative trim, making sure to leave black in the recesses. and then. Let's be honest, the fact I'm still highlighting this shows the detail on this model. There's so many little bits to highlight. There's a bit of Codex Grey there on the gloves, followed by some Mithril Silver on the armour, picking out the extreme edges of the armour and, of course, the edge of the shield. I carefully dry brushed graveyard earth on the back of the shield just to detail those wooden planks. Now I do a little white horizontal line for the eye and with black dot the eyes. Finally, I painted the base scorched brown and then dry brushed with codex gray and then I add some static grass and you're finished. And there you go, there is Ingold in all his glory. Um, I have no idea what the next video on the uh, channel will be, it will depend on what I'm uploading, but there are certainly lots and lots of bits on the way in the editing software. It's just a matter of you know, trimming it, publishing it, and letting YouTube do its work. Uh, thanks again for watching, have a look at my other videos, and do subscribe if you've enjoyed the video, and uh, keep commenting and uh, showing your support below, I really appreciate it, and if you ask me a question, I will almost always answer. Thanks very much for watching!